Hey guys, it's Stacy. I'm doing a review of the Fever series by Karen Marie Moaning today. I have read the first five books in the series this month. Um, they were fantastic. I flew through them so fast. I never read books this fast. Um, and I also have book 5.5. It's a graphic novel. This one comes after book five, Shadow Fever. I have not read this one yet, but I'm really excited to get into this one. There's a sneak peek of what this one looks like. So the first book in the Fever series starts out with this one, Dark Fever. So the story basically is about a girl named Mac or Michaela. Her name is Michaela. They call her Mac in the story. Uh, she has a sister, Elena, and Elena is studying abroad in Dublin, Ireland, where she is murdered. And the investigators in Ireland basically want to drop the um, murder investigation. They kind of feel like they've had no leads and they don't know who the murderer is. And so Mac gets on a plane and she flies to Dublin uh, to basically light a fire under the investigators, but to um, maybe do some research and try to find out all about her sister's last days and what happened to her. So while she's in Ireland, she finds out that she has the ability to see fairies. Never in her life has she seen fairies before and some are disgusting and some are beautiful and the story, this book basically leads you through her um, self-discovery of her abilities and this underworld of fairies that she never knew existed. She ends up meeting a man named Jericho Behrens who owns a bookstore in Dublin and she basically teams up with him to try to figure out the mystery of her sister's murder and along the way she finds out more clues about herself and what is going on with, with the fairies. Um, I don't want to give away too much but that's basically what this book is about and as you go through the series it just gets better and better. Uh, Mac's character goes through this huge transformation so how she's described in the first book is not the person that she is in the fifth book at all so if you're reading this and you're kind of annoyed with Mac, stick with it because I believe that she was portrayed to be to this extreme so you can see her transformation move throughout the books. Um, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed seeing her change and grow throughout the story. So yeah, please don't let how she is in this book bother you too much. Uh, also, there were some people, I was reading some reviews and some people didn't like this series because of how Barron's was portrayed and I say stick with it again throughout the series because he, him and himself is a huge mystery. Um, he's not human, I will give you that much because you kind of figure that out early on but you spend a good majority of these books trying to figure out exactly what is Barron's and who is Barron's, if he's a good guy, if he's a bad guy, um, what part does he play in this whole fairy mystery thing that's happening and he goes through a lot of changes as well and you do get to find out who and what and what side he's on uh, I think all of that happens in the fifth book and it's amazing I love how it all comes together in the end there are more books after this I think there was six seven Six, seven, and eight, I think, are out right now, and then nine and ten are going to be released in 2017. But there's a character named Danny who you get introduced to later in the series, and books six and seven are more about her. And apparently, people who read books six and seven did not like those books at all because they didn't like her character at all. And I can understand that she can be annoying, uh, but apparently. The books veer back to Mac and Baron's storyline in books 8, 9, and 10. I loved these books so, so much. They were incredibly fast-paced. It made me just keep wanting to turn the pages and keep reading chapter after chapter because it felt like every chapter ended on a cliffhanger and every book definitely ended on a cliffhanger. If I were reading these books as they were coming out, like once a year, it would make me crazy because I would not have had the ability to wait for the next book to come out. Yeah, I highly recommend these books if you like paranormal, paranormal romance. Um, some parts were a little bit scary, some parts were a little bit gory, 
throughout the series. Um, I don't think this is a book for teenagers. It's not a book for teenagers. I wouldn't recommend it to teenagers. Um, it's definitely for adults. And also, if you liked the Highlander books that Karen Marie Moaning wrote, you would like these books also because some of the Highlander characters that were in those books come into this book. The worlds are interconnected. So you'll recognize some of the names and get to see some of the characters from the Highlander books in here, which that was really fun to see because I did read all of those Highlander books as well. I really enjoyed the ending. I appreciated how it was done. I felt like the ending, you know, I was happy with it. I was happy with how everything was wrapped up and what happened with all the characters. It, it works out well for me and that's a hard thing to do. I have issues with a lot of book endings and this one was one of my favorite book endings. If you've read these books or you're interested in them and you want to have a discussion, please leave comments down below. Um, and I guess that's all I have for this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye. And everybody's coming home from work right now. No, my neighbors are wondering why I'm on the porch filming a video. And the birds are fighting.